This is AndyTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the presser bar and the associated controls and parts on this Singer Model 513. To get started, you want to remove the thumb screw and any presser foot that's on the machine. You want to be sure that the pressure bar is lifted up like that. And then you're going to turn the control dial to D for darn. So um, you don't want uh, any pressure or as little pressure as possible on this bar. With the foot down, there's no pressure. So the D is what's between the 8 and the 1. And then what you've got to do is remove this large headed screw right up here behind the regulating dial. When you take that screw out, that's what's holding this bracket and the dial to the machine. This screw here is just uh, to keep this lined up and prevent it turning. This screw uh, is for something else. It does not fasten this bracket to the machine. So once the screw is out, you'll be able to lift the bracket and the dial right out. What you want to be careful of is there's a pin in here that angles over to go into this controller and on the top of that pin above the spring is a washer and then the spring itself so you have to you just watch for that when you those parts and you don't want to do anything to bend the pin that's in there going into the presser bar itself so I'll just take my screwdriver up here and loosen this screw. I'm going to remove it. It's already loose here. So that's, that's what the screw looks like. Short and fat. And now, as I said, that, that bracket is loose, and you can just start lifting it up out of the machine. The pin comes up and is angled under this uh, hole for the pin, so you have to maneuver the bracket and turn the pin around a little bit and get stuff off of there kind of an awkward position. There we go. Here's a close-up of the ba back of the bracket where that pin rides right in there. So it sits like that. And you've got to kind of turn it and get all this stuff disengaged from this bent pin here. So it comes up, makes a 90, comes over and makes another uh, a 90. So once once you've got the the control wheel and the bracket off this pin there's a little washer in the spring so if you just hold this the spring and the uh, pin here should be able to to kind of angle it out and pull it right out so there's the spring and here's the little washer that's easy to lose. There's some little tabs on the on the pin up there that the washer pushes against and then the spring just slides on like that. So don't you don't lose the little washer. Well, don't lose anything, but watch out for that little washer. <laughs> Those kind of parts have a tendency to go jumping away. And you, you can remove this screw and take the dial off of the bracket if you, if you want to clean it or anything. 
So what's left here is this screw right here, the set screw that holds the presser bar. So I'm just going to put a smaller tip on my screwdriver for that. And then I'll go right in and loosen that set screw a little bit. No need to take it all the way out unless you want to. And yeah, I think go loose. Yep, it's plenty loose. Let's see if I can pull it down a little bit and get this top bracket off. It's going to be hard to come out with the needle bar in place, but you can leave it there and there it goes <laughs> and just pull that presser bar right out the top just keep lifting it up it'll come through the hole up here where they used to put the chrome knob for this uh, so I'll just grab a plier here so I won't block your view and it's dirty so it doesn't want to come up all the way don't bend anything just keep bringing it up and up and up. There. So once it gets out of the bushing, if you have a hard time with this, if this is real dirty, you probably want to clean it with alcohol or crud cutter before you pull it out so it doesn't get stuck in the bushing. But then you just keep bringing it straight up. You see it coming out the top here where the chrome knob used to be? And you can just keep pulling it right out. Now you got it removed. And we can see it's got a lot of crusty old varnished oil on it. So that's why I take uh, that's why I take them out. And if I can get that whoop, get that piece out. That piece is usually easier to take out once you've got the needle bar out of there. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny. I only have these troubles when I do videos. There we go. So there's your uh, set screw. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to tighten that back in because I, I don't want it to come loose if I clean it or anything. Now if you'd like, you can remove this screw and take out the lifting lever. And I think I, I think I will do that. That's usually pretty nasty in there. So I think I'll go ahead and take that out. It's lefty loosey. And get my screwdriver in there. There we go. This is a good thing to take out and clean. So there's the hinge screw, it's called. This part hinges on that lever, and the rest is threads. Once you've got that out, you can pull this bracket lever out. And you can see how dirt and grime gets built up there and back in here. So there's the presser bar and associated parts removal. It's pretty easy. You can do that. Right? Okay. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you come back and watch other videos. Thanks for watching. Take care.